let's quickly finish up looking over this script, which places quotes around every instance of a line with more than one token. We had just finished looking at the regular expression pattern that we're saving as pattern. This is beginning of the line and end of the line. And in between, in these parentheses, is one or more instances of any character, one or more instances of a space, one or more instances of any character. And then these are surrounded by parentheses. Just the pattern is inside parentheses. And we save that as a pattern. Okay, so now we can open up our output file and iterate over the lines that we got up here and we could put some of this stuff on a single line but this makes it more readable to spread it out match is equal to an re match we pass it the pattern and the line and we're comfortable using match here because we're interested in what an entire line looks like. Okay, it doesn't need to be search. Match is fine. And that's saved as a match object. Okay, this is not a string. This is a match object. So here, when we say if match, we're trying to find out if re match returned anything at all. So if it did return something, that means it found a match. Okay, so if match, then we can create a string called new line, and then we can use re's substitute method, which is sub, and it takes three arguments. The pattern that we're looking for, the pattern that we want to replace it with, and then the text that we're going to be looking for that pattern in, so the line in this case. And then this syntax here looks a little funny, but it is an unambiguous way to do a group replacement. So backslash G and specifically group one. Well, what is group one? Well, the entire match is considered to be group zero. So the entire line captured up here is considered to be group zero. But these parentheses, we weren't really looking for parentheses in the text. Instead, we're using them here as special characters to capture the pattern inside here. So when a match is found, that match contains several groups if we've used parentheses to capture the group. So group zero would be the entire pattern, the entire pattern match. Group one would be what's inside the first set of parentheses. And group two would be what's inside the next set of parentheses, and so on. So here we're saying, let's put what's inside group one, okay, which is the text of the line itself, and let's surround them with double quote characters. And then this is just our string to specify the pattern we're replacing it with. So we've now taken the old line, we put quotes around it using this new pattern, and then save that to something called new line, which we now write to the output file. Okay, so that's the behavior of if match. If we did not find a match, right, so if match, so in this case, match would be none, right, which would mean this would fail. Then we go to else, and then we write to the out file the original line, because we don't want to change it in any way. Okay, so that's it. That's the script. We iterate over the lines in the input file. If we find a match to our pattern, 
which is basically looking for a space in that line, then we replace it with a line that has the same contents but now surrounded by double quotes. And if that pattern is not found, then we do nothing. We just output the original line. Okay, so the major concepts that we've covered in these couple of videos. Reading from input files. Writing to output files. We looked at the RE module, which stands again for regular expressions. So we've looked at how to use regular expressions in Python, and how we can use the RE module to search text, or even to manipulate text, to take text from an input file, manipulate it using regular expressions, and then to output it to an output file.